There, Pom. Do you know what these are? Thimble. Uh, oh, of course. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's Bessie. No. Oh. Um, I'll give you a clue. A look. Oh, rocks. <laughs> <laughs> They're the rocks in our valley. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, I like that, Pom. What is it? A tinkle. Tinkle? <laughs> tinkle tree. Oh, oh, the tinkling tree. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, now, what's this? <laughs> oh, oh, pop, pop, that's bubble. That's right, Pom. Pop, pop, the bubble fall. <laughs> <laughs> and tinkle, tinkle, pop, pop. Tinkle, tinkle, pop, pop. <laughs> Look at these pretty flowers, little one. Do you know what colour they are? <laughs> no, little one. They're yellow. My favourite colour. Do you like yellow, little one? Yes. <laughs> I wonder if they smell. Oh, mm. Would you like to smell them, little one? You would. Mmm. <laughs> they smell nice, don't they? <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm getting that fumbling feeling. <laughs> I can feel a twinkling, I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. Oh, there is something to be found here. Um, oh, is it over here? No. <laughs> or is it over there? Oh, oh, can you see it anywhere? Oh, <laughs> oh look at that. Um, oh, oh, come back. Uh, oh, oh. um, uh, wee! <laughs> oh. oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> oh, you're all bright. Oh, I want the others to see you. Will you stay here? <laughs> you will. Hooray! Oh, see you later. <laughs> oh, here you are! Oh, look, Flory! Have you come to see our painting? Oh, oh what are those round blue things? <laughs> a pop, pop, bubble. <laughs> it's the bubble fall. <laughs> and a tinkle tree. It's where we live. It's our valley. Oh, it's lovely. Cool. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> it makes me feel all tippity toppity and hippity hoppity. <laughs> cool. This is fun. Oh. If you're happy and you know it, wave your hand. Wave your hand. If you're happy and you know it, wave your hand. Wave your hand. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave your hands. Wave your hands. <laughs> That was soopity doopity. <laughs> cool. What shall I do next? I know. I'll go and tell the others. <laughs> oh, oh, but oh, listen! I found something really special. Come and see. Oh, what is it? What? Oh, I'll show you. Huh, pump coming. Look, here it is. Whoa. Pretty. Oh, it's very special. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you again. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If Oh, a 
Oh, Flurry, um, can I have a go, please? Oh, of course you can, Thimbo. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. <laughs> Watch this. If you're happy and you know it, jump up high. Jump up high. If you're happy and you know it, jump up high. Jump up high. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, jump up high. Jump up high. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like a sunbeam to make everybody feel happy. Oh, a sunbeam. <laughs> I found a sunbeam. <gasps> Hello, sunbeam. Oh, look at the sun. Now, you need to be a little bit careful with the sun. It's very, very bright, and you can't look straight at it. But when the sun shines, you can see its light everywhere. And it makes everything look beautiful. Oh, look. You can see the sun shining in the sea. You can see the sun shining on the cars. Look, you can see the sun shining in the water. Ah, oh, pretty flowers. Yes, everything looks lovely when the sun shines down. Oh, Sunbeam, I want to keep you forever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Flurry Love, I know just how you feel. It would be lovely to keep it forever. I wonder how you could do that. Hmm. Oh, I know. Let's put our sunbeam into something and then we can look after it. Oh, oh but what can we put it into? Huh. Wait here. I'll just go and find something. Dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. <laughs> now, maybe if I take these apples out, I could put the sunbeam in here. No, but it might spill over the top. Let's see. Ah, the cracker barrel! <laughs> it's got a lid to keep the sunbeam safe inside. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> oh, oh, look, look, everyone, we can put our sunbeam in here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, just one cracker left. Sunbeam, do you like crackers? Mm, no, I don't think it does, Fimbo. Oh, good, cos I do. <laughs> oh, oh, but Pom and I like crackers very much, Fimbo. As we do, Fimbo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all right, Fimbo. Come on, let's push the sunbeam into the cracker barrel. <laughs> uh, one... Two, three, push! Oh. Yay! Oh, got it! Hooray! Oh. Hmm. oh, go on, have a peep, Flory. Oh, oh shall I? Yes, Flory, peep! Shh! Um. Oh! Oh, no, it's not there! Oh! Hey. Oh, it's still over there! there. I think Pom wants to give the sunbeam a ride in her trundle truck. <laughs> no! Brum, brum! Oh, a brew! Oh, 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 good idea, Pom! Mm-hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> my, my, my. What have we here? Oh, now this is something special. Oh, yes. It's our special sunbeam, Roly. We want to keep it forever and ever. Do you now? But we can't think how to do it. Well, maybe you've done enough thinking for the moment. How about a story? <gasps> Oh, yes, please. Our sunbeam would like a story, too. <laughs> Very well. You keep an eye on your sunbeam. I'll be back in a roly mo. <laughs> when you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs A monkey who says boo Ooh. Wonderful things, giants and kings And maybe a fimble or two Ooh, Now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book Who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme Just take the time to read along with me Here we are. I found it. Are you all ready? Oh, yes. Dory, yes. Sunbeam. <laughs> are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called Something to Remember. Hmm. Grandad had been staying with Ben and Charlie, but now he had to go home. He lived far away on the other side of the world, so the twins didn't see him very often. They liked having Grandad at their house. They liked his untidy eyebrows and yeah. his deep, growly voice. Uh, yeah. And the way he tickled them when they weren't looking. <laughs> Come and live with us forever, Grandad, said Ben. I'll let you have my football, said Charlie. But Grandad had to go home to look after his dog, Sheba. Ben and Charlie wanted to know about Sheba. Here's a photo, said Grandad. It helps me remember what she looks like. Sheba was a smiley black dog. The boys thought that Sheba was the sort of dog they liked. When you go back home, how will you remember us? asked Charlie. Hmm, said Grandad. You could take a photo, said Ben. So they all went outside so that Mum could take a photograph for Grandad. Grandad smiled and said, Cauliflower cheese, which made them all laugh. Snap! That afternoon, Grandad went home. But a few weeks later, a parcel arrived for Ben and Charlie, and in it were two T-shirts with kangaroos on them and a photo. There were Ben and Charlie and Grandad in the garden, all smiling. I liked that day when Grandad said, Cauliflower cheese, said Ben. Look, you can see Grandad's funny eyebrows, said Charlie. And Mum put the photo in a special frame so they could look at it and remember Grandad. Ah, there we are. Rolly, you know the boys in the story? Yes. Well, they took a photo of their granddad, didn't they? So they could remember him whenever they looked at it. That's right, Flory. A picture is a good way to remember somebody or something. Oh, oh, that's what we can do. We can draw it. Draw what? A picture of our sunbeam. <laughs> yes, indeed. Then you'll be able to look at it every day. And we'll be able to keep it forever and ever. Ah, da, da. Come on, let's draw it now. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, wave your arms. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I've been looking for you. Oh, hello, Rocket. We're going to draw a sunbeam. <laughs> Look, if I paint the sunbeam on your picture, Fimbo, then the sunbeam will always be part of our valley. Oh, good idea, Flory. <laughs> <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, draw the sun. Draw the sun. 
If you're happy and you know it, draw the sun. Draw the sun. If you're happy and you know it, and you want us all to show it. If you're happy and you know it, draw the sun. Draw the sun. <laughs> oh, fair. What do you think? I think we'll never forget our sunbeam now. <laughs> How are you today? I'm just mending my hat. Look, it's a little bit torn here. <laughs> hello, Uncle Rolly. Oh, hello there, little bow. I was just telling our friends that I'm mending one of my hats. Oh, well, maybe you can make Floppy better for me, too. Whatever's wrong with her? Look, she's all purply. Oh, so she is. I think she needs a bath. I'll go and get it ready. Oh, thank you, Uncle Rolly. You go! Me go! We, we go! Amigo! Let's a go! go! <laughs> uh, hello there, little bow. Why so saddy waddy? I dropped Floppy in the mud. Oh, no! Is she broke? <laughs> no, she's just dirty. Oh, you love your Floppy. You go together like... Um, like, uh... Oh, I can't think of anything. <laughs> Maybe my busy book can help. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? What are we going to do today, Fimbo? Look, Pom's trundle truck. And that's Little One. A shimmy shaker. And an apple. Yummity yum. This game is about things that go together. What does Fimbo go with? Is it the trundle truck? Or Little One? Or the shimmy shaker? Or the apple? Fimbo goes with his shimmy shaker. Look, here's Flory. What does Flory go with? Is it the trundle truck? Or little one? Or the apple? Oh, Flory goes with little one. Hello, Baby Pom. What does Baby Pom go with? Is it the trundle truck? Or the apple? Baby Pom goes with the trundle truck. I wonder who goes with the apple. Me, me, me! <laughs> it's Rocket. Rocket goes with the apple. Enjoy your apple, Rocket. Little One makes Flory happy, doesn't she? Yes. She does. <laughs> and Fimbo's shimmy shaker makes him happy too. <laughs>
Roly stories, little floppy, and great big kisses from my mum. <laughs> Rainy days and the colour orange, taking naps I so enjoy. I even love my brother Migo, and little Snudge is my favourite toy. And I, I want to cuddle Snudge back, back in, in a, a roly mo. One Snudge, one Bibby, and one Floppy. Oh, Snudge makes me happy, <gasps> and Bibby makes me happy. You are so cuddlicious, Bibby. Uh, what's that on your Bibby? What? That. Oh, that's yesterday's breakfast. And that. <laughs> That's last Wednesday's supper. <laughs> Did you drop Bibby in the purple patch too? No, that's uh oh um I'm not sure. It looks like rhubarb jam. Hmm, Bibby needs a wash, Bigo. No! No, Bibby doesn't need a wash! Yes, he does. He's grubby. No, he's not! Yes, he is. Isn't is isn't is, 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 is There we go, little boo. Floppy's bath is ready. Oh, thank you, Uncle Rolly. Come on, Floppy. Bath time. Uh, Bibby could have a bath with Floppy. No, he couldn't. Yes, he could. Couldn't. Could. Couldn't. Could. Couldn't. Could. could. Uh, um, uh, you go. Why don't you go and help little Bo wash Floppy? OK. And you can stay here with me, Migo. OK. Come on, Hugo. Could. <laughs> Now then, young Migo, do you think you might like a story? <gasps> oh, yes, please, Roly. Uh, then I'll be back in a Roly Mo. <laughs> Bibby, story time with Roly Mo. Our favourite time of day. <gasps> When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo, boo, boo wonderful things, and giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. Ah, one story for a grubby bibby, if you please. Ah, thank you. Now then. Are you both sitting comfortably? Yes! Oh, oh, oh. Yes, Uncle Rowley. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Then I'll begin. Josh was building a house for his teddy. Lunchtime, called his mum. Wash your hands. Do I have to, mum? Said Josh. Yes, wash your hands, please, she said. You know you need to. Josh sighed. He was tired of always having to wash his hands. Later, after his afternoon nap, Josh decided to have a tea party with Teddy in the front room. Josh didn't see his Auntie Lou, who was fast asleep in the big armchair. Now, Teddy, said Josh, we're going to have a lovely tea party. Here are the cups and the saucers and the plates. And some lovely shiny teaspoons. Those teaspoons aren't shiny, said a voice. Josh was startled. Who was talking to him? Could it be Teddy? They're not shiny at all. They're really dirty, the voice continued. 
Josh picked up the teaspoons. It was true. They were rather grubby. I'll go and wash them, he said. Thank you, said the voice. And do you think you could wash the cups and saucers and plates as well? They're all very dirty. Oh, said the surprised Josh. All right. So he washed the tea set till everything was clean and shiny. Josh set out the tea things again. Well done. Now we can have our tea party. It's tea time, called Josh's mum. Coming, called back Josh. Come on, Teddy. Come and have some real tea. Are you coming too, Auntie Lou? Auntie Lou peeped round her chair. She winked at Josh. Oh, yes, but I think I'd better wash my hands first. Me too, said Josh, laughing. There. Did that make you feel better? Oh, yes! <laughs> it was all about tea. And it was about something else, too, wasn't it? Um, uh, 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 oh, 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 yes! Everything was clean and shiny when Josh had washed it. It was. Uh, you know, Rolly, uh, um, uh, maybe washing something just a little, little bit isn't so bad after all. <laughs> maybe it's not. <laughs> See you later, Rolly! <laughs> There we are. <coughs> Hello, Migo. Hello, Migo. And Bibby. Look how clean floppy is, Migo. Hmm. Little Bo? Yes, Migo? Do you think I could wash Bibby just a little bit? Of course you can. Look, the water's still warm. Oh. <coughs> Washing Bibby in my tub. <laughs> oh. Come on, everyone. <laughs> splish, splash, splash. There's nothing to beat. A really good wash. Splish, splish. <laughs> Rub a dub dub. Scrub a dee scrub. Washing Bibby in the tub. Splish, splish, splash, splash, splash. Splish, splash, splash. There we are. One clean Bibby. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, is that a clean bibby I smell? It is! And I can smell tea as well! Hooray! <laughs> Come on, bibby! Let's get you all nice and grubby again! <laughs> <Me too. laughs> um, <laughs> Haven't we had fun today? Yes! It's, it's been, been a, a roly moly day! <laughs> You will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Cheerio! <laughs> Let's all do the thimble dance. 
Let's go do the bimbo dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. Come on, little one, you can dance too. <laughs> Pum keep dancing <laughs> and step forward. <laughs> do a little wiggle. <laughs> You won't hear that. <laughs> Pam know what that is. <laughs> That's the tinkling tree. The tinkling tree telling Pam something. <laughs> Look, Pam's fingers are tinkling. <laughs> oh, your fingers are tinkling too. Just a little bit. <laughs> you want to see your fingers twinkling? <laughs> Look, Pam's nose winkling. <laughs> oh, your nose winkling too. <laughs> you feel your nose winkling? <laughs> Pam see you. Both in Kaffa. Here's a little game Pam like to play. You can join in too. A tickly tickly boo. Boo! Tickly <laughs> boo, tickly boo. You can see Pam, but Pam can't. A little thimble. That's what you found, a fan. Oh, fan. Hello, fan. Now, if you wave it about, it'll cool us down. Oh. <sighs> cool. Pom fan Bessie. 
Yes, please, Chuck. Ooh. Ooh. Betty cool now. Oh, that's lovely, Pom. Thank you. <laughs> Pom fan ripple. That's a windy fan. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. The fan is making the air move just like the wind. Shall we have a look and see? Yes, please, Then come with me. Come and see the big wide world. The big wide world. Her fan is keeping her cool. Look, can you see it's making wind? It's blowing her hair. Blow! Wind blow! That's right. The wind is blowing the sail of the boats. You see, the wind can be so strong that it blows everything around. A daisy, she's lost her hat. <laughs> it's turned the umbrella inside out, and it's helping to dry the clothes on the line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't flap too hard, pet. You might blow ripple over. <laughs> hey! Oh, Pam so sorry and fuck it. Come on. I'm not a huppy rocket, I'm a hotty rocket. A hotty, huppy rocket. <laughs> I'm one hot frog. Phew. Ah, rocket hot. Oh, palm fan. Make rocket cool. Oh, oh, that's nice, Pub. That's really cool. I mean, really cool. Oh, oh. my turn now, Pub. Huh. <laughs> oh, that's lovely, Pom. Yes, a Pom simply fine fan. Uh, and um, little one's hot too. Oh. Uh, uh, Pom, uh, what about me? Make me really, really, really cool. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh and me. Oh, oh. And little one. Oh. Uh, my turn. Oh. Oh. Uh, me. Oh. Yeah, and little one. Oh. Uh, my turn. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and me. Oh. And little one. Can your fan do, Pom? Um, oh, oh! Fan make things blow away. <laughs> <laughs> Look, flowers blow away. <laughs> <laughs> that's a funny game. Oh, that's really good, Pom. Um, can I have a go, please? Uh, yes. You have them both. Oh, thank you, Pom. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's really good, Pom. I like your fan. <laughs> oh. Hello, everyone. Hello, Roly. Hello, Roly. Oh, oh. oh, what's that you've got there, Fimbo? Uh, as Pom's fan. Pom Fimby fine fan. Oh, a fan, eh? It's a windy fan. A cool windy fan. We got all hot and Pom's fan is cooling us down. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, it sounds like you might need a story to cool you down even more. Would you like to hear one? Oh, yes, please, please, please Roly. Story, story. Well, make yourselves comfortable, and I'll be back in a roly bow. 
when you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. boo. Wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a fimble or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ah, here we are. Now, are you sitting comfortably? Uh, yes. yes. Good, then I'll begin. This story is called A Windy Day. Once upon a time, a little old woman decided to go shopping, so she put on her new red hat. It was a very windy day, and soon the little old woman saw her friend Mrs Brown. I'll go and show her my new red hat, she said. Just then, the wind blew the hat right off the little old woman's head. Oh dear, she cried. Come back, hat! But the hat was enjoying himself. He spun round and round in the wind, up as high as the church weathercock. I'm spinning faster than you, called the hat. The wind blew him over the rooftops, over a garden, over fields and hedges, until suddenly the hat saw something in the distance. It was a tall, thin thing, but it had four enormous arms. Ooh, is it a monster? wondered the hat. A round smiley man came out. Thank you, wind, he called. I'm going to make some flour today. You've made the sails turn on my windmill. Oh, silly me, said the hat. It's a windmill. Just then, the wind changed its mind, as winds often do, and blew the hat back over the fields and hedges, over the gardens and rooftops, over the weathercock and back onto the little old woman's head. What a smart new hat, said Mrs Brown. Thank you, said the little old woman. But she said quietly to the hat, Now stay there and don't fly off again. And the red hat thought he had probably had enough adventures for a while. Lovely. Thank you, Rolly. Pom fan Rolly. Oh, how thoughtful, Pom. Thank you. Oh, very cool. Oh, I feel so cool now, I want to start bouncing all over again. Ooh, Simbo, your top knot's twitching. Oh, I'm getting an idea, and it's a really good idea. <laughs> Back in a minute. Hey, come and see. Look, uh, I'm going to use this big piece of paper and I'm going to fold it like this and press it down and then I'm going to fold it again and fold it and fold it. <laughs> this is going to be a great fun. <laughs> and fold and fold. <laughs> Hey, look, I've made a really big fan, big enough to call us all down. Hmm, let's see if it works. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I say, there's a bit of a wind blowing up. Oh, my goodness. Windy, windy. Hmm, I wonder if it's working. Bless my beak and feathers. Oh, it's very windy. Hmm, well, maybe I need to fan it a bit harder. It... Oh. Rocket, where's that wind coming from? Oh, I don't know, but I love it. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> oh. 
What was that? Oh, I don't know. The wind seemed to come from over there. <laughs> oh, hey, do you like my fan? Oh, big fan. I don't know if it's working, though. Um, I better have another go. <gasps> Hello to you. How do you do? <laughs> oh, it's a lovely sunny day today. I bet Uncle Roly will want to go out and do some gardening. Shall we go and find him? Ready? Then off we go! Uncle Roly! Oh, Uncle Roly's not here. Let's go and look somewhere else. <laughs> you go! Me go! We, we go! go! Amigo! Let's a go go! Hello, little Bo. Oh, hello there, you two. Have you seen Uncle Roly? Oh, yes. He's purple and green and he's a Roly Mo. <laughs> yes, I know that, Migo. I meant, have you seen him today? Do you know where he is? Uh, oh. no. Well, then, let's go and find Roly Mo. Let's a go go. Amigo! Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just looking for my other gardening glove. It looks just like this one. I don't suppose you've seen it anywhere? Seen what, Uncle Roly? Oh, there you are, little Bo. <laughs> I was just telling our friends that I seem to have lost my other gardening glove. Oh, I knew you'd be going out to garden, Uncle Roly. Well, I would if I had my other glove. Now, where in Fimble Valley could it be? Let's both look in your useful chest. What a good idea. I don't think it's in there, little bow. Oh, um, hold on. What's this, Uncle Roy? Oh. Hmm. oh, no, it's definitely not in there. Well, the question is... Where can it be? You go! <coughs> oh. Toot toot! Oh, toot toot, little snoot. Where's you go? I'm looking for him. He's disappeared! That's funny. We're looking for something that's disappeared too. Hmm. I've got a story about looking for something. Would you like to hear it? Yes, yes please. please! Then I'll be back in a roly mo. Story time with Roly Mo. Our favourite time of day! When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Ooh. Wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now, what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm, books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. One story about looking for something, please. Oh, thank you. Now then, are you all sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. <sighs> Jip and Jamila were playing Skittles with their friend, the baby elephant. It's my birthday tomorrow, said baby elephant. My very first birthday. I'll be one. 
That night, Jip and Jamila decided to throw a party for the baby elephant. A surprise party. They told everybody about the surprise party. Everybody except the baby elephant. Then they collected some special food. We need a hiding place for this food, said Jip, or it won't be a surprise. So they dug a hole and put a small rock over it to keep the party food safe from the rain and the sun and the baby elephant. At last the birthday arrived. Happy birthday, said the monkeys. We've got a surprise for you. They took the baby elephant to the clearing and told him to shut his eyes. Surprise! shouted everybody. The baby elephant was so pleased. But Jip was looking worried. Where's the food? I can't see our hiding place. Look for the rock, whispered Jamila. But they couldn't see the rock anywhere. We've collected lots of food for the party, said Jip to baby elephant. But now we can't find it. Never mind said Baby Elephant. It's a lovely surprise seeing everybody. It doesn't matter about the food. And he got up and gave them a big hug. Look, said Jamila. There's the rock. Baby Elephant was sitting on it. Now we can have the party food after all. And they all agreed that was the best surprise of all. There we go. So your glove is just waiting to be found, Uncle Rolly. That's right, little Bo. Oh, come on then, let's keep looking. We're looking high. <laughs> We're looking low. We're looking fast, 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 fast. We're looking slow. Where it is, we just don't know. We just can't find it. Oh, where, where it is, we just don't know. We just can't find it. Oh. We're looking left. We're looking right. Where it is dark. Ooh. And where it's light. We're really looking everywhere. We just can't find it. We're really looking everywhere. We just can't find it. We just can't find it. We just can't find it. <sighs> oh dear, where can it be? Did you see it anywhere? Um, uh, <gasps> maybe your busy book can help, little Bo. That's a good idea. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Florrie. What are we going to do today, Florrie? Oh, look. One. Two. Three. Three flower pots. There's something hiding behind the flower pot. Can you guess what it is? There's a handle. But what is it? It's a watering can. I wonder what's hiding behind that flower pot. They look like petals. Hmm, what has lots of petals? It's got leaves too. Can you guess what it is? I think it's a flower. Flower. And I wonder what's hiding behind that flower pot. Something red. <laughs> they look like fingers. <laughs> Can you guess what it could be? Is it a glove? Yes, it's a glove. A glove to wear in the garden. <laughs> look. Thank you, Flory. See you again soon. Glove, but it wasn't your glove, Uncle Rolly. No, it wasn't. It's well and truly disappeared. And you guys disappeared it too. <sighs> Was that 
you making that funny noise, Miko? What noise, little bow? That noise, Miko. Oh, that noise. No, that wasn't me making that noise. Then, then who, who was, was it? <gasps> Boo! There you go! There you are! We thought you'd disappeared. <gasps> but what's that on your head, Hugo? It's my gardening glove. Oh, I've been looking everywhere for it. Hugo, why are you wearing Uncle Roly's glove on your head? Because I'm pretending to be a thimble, of course. Can you guess who I am? Look at me, what can you see? <laughs> la, 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 <laughs> la, la. Your thimble! <laughs> Do you want a crumble cracker? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> we had fun looking for your glove, Uncle Roly. I liked looking for things. Well, then, shall we do a bit more looking? I've got just the story. Once upon a time, there was a farmer called Old MacDonald who had a little dog, Patch. Old MacDonald often sang to the animals on his farm as he worked. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had one cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo, Old MacDonald had one cow, E-I-E-I-O. But where's my dog? There he is, said the cow. Woof! Old MacDonald has a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he has two sheep, E-I-E-I-O, with a baba here and a baba there, here a bar, there a bar, everywhere a baba. Old MacDonald had two sheep, E-I-E-I-O. But where's my dog? <coughs> There he is, said the sheep. Woof! <laughs> Old MacDonald has a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he has three pigs, E-I-E-I-O, with a oink oink here and a oink oink there, here oink there, oink everywhere, oink oink. Old MacDonald has three pigs, E-I-E-I-O, but where is my dog? Oink! There he is, said the pigs. Woof. <laughs> Old MacDonald loved his cow and his sheep and his pigs. And he especially loved his little dog, Patch. Lovely. Woof! Woof! <laughs> right now, everyone. Time to get out in the fresh air and do some digging. Now, where did I put my gloves? Me go. You go. <laughs> <laughs> well, haven't we had fun today? Yes, yes it's, it's been, been a, a rolly moly day. day. You will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Cheerio!